And now we're in this situation where we're seeing Assange has been in the Ecuadorian embassy since 2012. There was apparently the past couple of days has been rather tense. There's been, you know, there was a leak that came out from a trusted uh, official, apparently, in the Ecuadorian embassy that's close to Assange that was saying, hey, they want to get him out of here soon within a matter of days. Yeah, in the next hour. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, and then just a few hours after they post that, there was another uh you know news and and I, I keep telling him look uh or not him because i don't talk to him um that it's so important that you know do not cry wolf because if you do when you really need help it's not going to be there yeah you know yeah and uh, but the thing is that you know i think that i mean uh why in the world with the situation as it is, is he is he has seen the need to carry on pushing the buttons of Lenin. And the irony is, and I remember many people don't remember this, but he helped elect this guy. He went on a crusade against the other one because he had said, we're going to, you know, um, kick him out of the embassy. Uh, and I think... Um, you know, with his situation, I mean, it's like he never did what I, and one of the reasons I left is that I, when the thing was happening in Sweden, I was actually talking with him when it was happening and when the news broke uh, about these girls and, uh, and then knowing him, I knew what they were saying was accurate, right? Uh, and I even talked with one of them later on. Uh, just to hear her story, and I knew it was right. Uh, but even if I know it, and a lot of people don't believe that he did it, uh, or do not define sticking a penis, unprotected penis, into somebody without their permission is rape uh, when they're sleeping. Um, even if he was innocent of this, the fact that he's never gone to court, that he never did that, is so damaging for WikiLeaks. And I really asked him, can you please step down as a spokesperson and deal with this shit? And just appoint anybody, Daniel or Kristen or anybody that's boring enough that they do not become the story. <laughs> you know, uh, with you know full respect, they're not boring, but they do not have the same charisma as he has, if you know what I mean. So he automatically becomes the story, but not the leak. And that's not very good for any news organization where the anchor is constantly the story, but not the story he's telling. He did, refused to do that. And then um, he had the very, very best lawyers represent him when it came to the extradition thing, you know, and uh, the extradition was not to the United States. It was to Sweden. So if he would have just gone to Sweden instead of going into the embassy, it would have been so difficult to extradite him before he would go to trial, you know. And what is this thing? What? The, why doesn't he want to go to trial? You know, it's better to go to trial than to, you know, uh, get being stuck in, you know, the situation in the embassy. I mean, which is obviously, I mean... Uh, it's difficult, and I, I sympathize with that this has been a long time. It's trying, and what they're doing now is really, you know, <laughs> is really bad. It's like a parent trying to be really giving their teenager uh, very strict conditions for that teenager to carry on living at home, if you know what I mean. It just really reminds me of that. Just like, you know, uh, the breakup he had with Daniel uh, who had a very significant role and the other people that left around the time that I left, like the architect and, and various others. I mean, the architect is the one that created the submission system. And then there was no submission system for years. For years, there was no submission system to WikiLeaks, which was very problematic uh, because obviously they could not get then, you know, digital submissions in a safe way. And so how is WikiLeaks, how have they been getting their leaks? Uh, you know, that's a question that I find to be quite important. Another thing is, obviously, I know most of the people that have been involved with WikiLeaks, even people way after I was. And uh, every time I meet someone, there is a new emergency that there is something 
you know, some police were spotted here and, you know, it's imminent that he's going to be extradited or whatnot uh, or kicked out of the embassy or the, the UK police going to storm a southern embassy, which is like crazy if that would happen. But um, thankfully, there are people that are carrying on with the mission of WikiLeaks because what WikiLeaks stood for is much bigger than any individual. This was about a movement of people, people that actually ended up going to prison, defending and fighting for WikiLeaks, people like Barrett Brown, people like Jeremy Hammond, who is still in prison, and, and Chelsea Manning, and various other people that have had hardship in their lives because of, uh, you know, fighting for what WikiLeaks stood for. And let's not forget them. Let's not forget the sacrifices that these people made for the transparency movement. And there are people now working on, like there is a new project that uh, Emma Best uh, is running, which looks very promising, uh, which is basically publishing the raw material uh, that often didn't find any home in cyber. Uh, Krypton has been around forever, which was sort of like the first idea for WikiLeaks to base itself on. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there. The hard thing is to be able to navigate it. And that's why it is so depressing that they closed down the Snowden archives and did not make the Snowden archives more publicly known so more journalists could actually use it, if you know what yeah. I mean. Uh, and so... Uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to, I wanted to comment on how, you know, this seeing all this play out over years, and I know, of course, you're so much closer to it than I am, but... I just wanted to comment on, you know, it's 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 disheartening not to not to not give credit to those that have sacrificed so much. I don't want to say that about them. They've the absolutely heroic and courageous acts of Chelsea Manning and and everyone else is I need to I need to state that that's so valuable and important and inspiring. Mm -hmm. But it's like to see it all come back almost full circle where it's like there are still consequences playing out for that leak that happened back in 2010 or whatever it was, right? I mean, it's yeah. like it's yeah, 2010. it's so. Um, but that's how they want to want us to feel. Yeah, exactly. So I think that you know, I don't, I don't give a shit, you know, what they're trying to do. I mean, they're not going to instill fear in me, you know. Uh, if if they want to arrest me, yeah, come and get me because like uh, I have done nothing wrong. And so just be my guest. Uh, and uh, I think it is very important that people do have the courage to do like what Chelsea is doing now. I mean, it's like uh, to take the risk of actually being put again into torture for a torture victim. It, it's it's so incredibly brave. I don't I don't think people understand. And it's not to protect anyone that he's refusing to not go uh, to the grand jury. Uh, and, and frankly, this I had never heard of this grand jury thing until, you know, uh, I was possibly a subject of one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I just didn't know that, you know, in a democratic society, you would have something like this. It's just very, you know, I don't know, Middle Ages kind of thing, like Inquisition. <laughs> and um, And so I think that, you know, even if everything is evolving and changing and, and so forth. And there has been, despite the fact, you know, how slowly everything is going, like I never forget, uh, you know, the most significant sort of layer on all of this was Snowden because what Snowden did, because he's like really likable, if you know what I mean. Uh, and uh, he's so... Uh, his language is so good. The way he speaks, he's so clear, and he's just like it's like this grand chess master type, yes, if you know what yes. I mean. And um, and so what he managed to do was to get this stuff, even if like with the big leaks from WikiLeaks, he got the discussion about privacy into the mainstream. Nobody has achieved that before, and it's so important that we carry on with you know, uh, 
the stuff that he gave us, the information, and also with the stuff that came out of Cambridge Analytica and the whistleblowers around that and, you know, what's happening around Brexit and, you know, and so forth, that, you know, these people are giving us the gift of information. It is a gift. And it's, you know, because of the bravery of these people before, and it started with, you know, um, way, way before, you know, most of us were, you know, born, yeah. you know, that you would have whistleblowers that would risk everything. And do you know why they risk everything? It's not because there are some punk ass anarchists. It's because they actually believe in the system. You know, they believe in the system. And when they see the system isn't working the way it should to protect the citizens, or if it's, you know, responsible for heinous crimes, uh, that are hidden from the public uh, opinion, then they blow the whistle. Just think about all the people that helped Jews uh, escape the Holocaust. You know, these people are, of course, demonized. You know, of course they would be demonized. You know, so whenever you want to demonize a whistleblower, just think about that. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I think that is, you know, and the consequence of what they did is that many brilliant minds and people, you know, survived, you know, a horrible crime against humanity. And we see this still happening all over the world. It, it's maybe not in the mainstream media, but there is a lot of people risking everything for, you know, the, the whole. And these people, instead of demonizing them and, and uh, going on a righteous horse, these people, more than anything, to blow the whistle, it is the single toughest thing anybody can do, you know, if it is a significant uh, whistleblowing. Mm -hmm. 